and welcome back to Lift Your Spirits. I'm Ms. Gloss and today I'm introducing you to the Bartesian system or as I like to call them, Bart. So come along with me while I show you how to make a drink, what liquors are normally used, and what pots I've purchased so far. So first things first, Bart. Yes, he is sexy, he is crazy, he is cool, and he keeps me lit, okay? Lit, lit, all right? The easiest part about Bart is he makes the drink so fast, like you're just, 30 seconds, people, 30 seconds, and I have a ready-made drink on deck, ready to go. I mean, it gets no better than that, okay? None whatsoever. So, let me introduce you to the parts of Bart. So, there are these four reservoirs that you'll see sitting on the machine itself. Now, they're all glass bottles, just, they look just like this. They're just a, a simple glass bottle. But what they do is they hold your perspective, your respective, liquors in each of them so you have a different bottle for each different liquor you use so here's vodka here's a reservoir for rum slash gin um there's one for whiskey and then there's one for tequila so me myself yes normally if i am doing me up a drink i will normally use higher end liquors um, when I'm putting them in BART, because normally when BART is going, I'm going a, a lot of drinks, or I had, a, like I had a party the other weekend, and BART worked overtime, like all my rum was gone, like all the, I had some Jack Daniels in here, so all that was gone, like pods are gone, it's not the old, order new pods, but it's, it's the showstopper. Everyone comes in, they want to meet Bart. I don't blame him. Bart's faithful. I love Bart. He's the man of my life. I never have to worry about. So me and Bart, we, we like this. Like, like, we like that, okay? So, what the liquors are typically used now in Bart, um, I go to Costco and Sam's Club. I mean, it's great liquor. You're not getting lower than most liquors. It's not the bottom of the shelf, let's be real. And you're gonna get a bang for your buck. This gin, I'm not a gin drinker, but because some of the pods have gin in it, I bought gin. Um, I think this bottle is like $18, $20 at Costco. Can't beat it. Like all of them pretty much are $20 bottles. Um, for the whiskey, since Jack is gone now, I've been using this Scotch whiskey blend that I got from Kirkland from Costco also. Works great. Um, actually, this rum is from Club, Sam's Club. Um, I believe $20 also, if I'm not mistaken. And then my absolute favorite vodka, not gonna lie, is the Costco's um, $20 bottle. Now they do have a $13 bottle and do not get me wrong, it is not a bad vodka for your book. But I'd rather go up five, seven more dollars and get the higher end. So I typically go for this one. So you have the five bottles. Oh, there's five bottles simply because one is gin. So you switch it out if you have a gin based drink you switch it out and put the gin reservoir in, but I typically don't have very many gin drinking friends, so this one doesn't get used as much. I only have literally one friend that drinks gin. That's why I bought the bottle, and it's still here. So, go fit. Alrighty, so that's the component of the machine. Now, here, let me show you some of the drinks that I have, the pots. Now, this is literally, you're literally looking at the Keurig for liquor, okay people? That's that's what it is. It, you're paying a big hefty front end price, but you're
you're getting the convenience, the swiftness, the ease, all that for this price. Now the drinks themselves, they come in pods. Nice little cute pod, just like a carrot. You insert the pod, it makes your drinks. Um, the pods are recyclable. That was one of the really good things I did like about it. I am, I care about the world. Uh, and convenience. Um, one thing I must, must say before we go any further. Please be careful with bark. These drinks have the most liquor you're ever going to see in a drink, people. Ever. Like, ever. The Long Island on Strong is 4.6 ounces of liquor in one cup. Like, are you ready? Are, are, are you really ready for that kind of drink? Please be ready. Please drink responsibly with him. He don't play. He don't. He will lay your out. Okay? Okay. okay. So, there's different pods for different types of drinks you like. Um, there's the Cosmopolitan. We have the Whiskey Sour. What's missing is Margarita. Uh, they had a Margarita party apparently last a couple weeks ago. So, I don't have any Margarita pods left. Uh, Old Fashioned. We have the Uptown on the Rocks. Now, the Uptown on the Rocks is typically a gin drink, but I actually leave it with the rum, and it's really good. It's very good. And one of my absolute favorites, Long Island. I will say with the Long Island, I do like the mixes. I would just say it needs a little bit more of the Coke. So I do typically add a little Coke at the end, but nothing that would make me not want to use it anymore or order them anymore so it can't be that bad uh let's see what other flavors do we have rolling around here one of my absolute favorites lemon drop mm -mm -mm -mm. when i tell y'all this is good i mean this is good okay it's good uh we got sex on the beach which is made with vodka so very good i am a vodka girl i think you all know that by now so, um, I typically lean towards vodka drinks. They have a ginger peach iced tea. Um, I like it. I will say, I think I was thinking more down the lines of sweet tea. So, it's not very sweet. But that's what simple syrup is for. So, and it ain't that bad. <laughs> Three of them gone. So, can't be that bad. And that's Long Island iced tea. I told y'all I drink a lot of the Long Islands, okay? Um, now, what I will say, there is, there is another machine like this. Well, not like Bart, there's, there's nobody like Bart, okay? But there is another machine. Keurig has their actual own Drinkworks machine that does the same thing now, I did a lot of research before I bought this machine, okay? Let's be real, people. This is not a $100 machine, okay? The machine itself is $350, okay? So, when you're going to put into that much money off-rip, you want to make sure that you've done every single thing you can to make sure that it's exactly what you want and what you need, what you're using it for. For me, this machine won over over drink works which actually is three hundred dollars so it's fifty dollars cheaper the big and main reason was because i could choose my own liquor with the drink works machine the pods come with the liquor inserted so however the drink tastes is how the drink tastes however much liquor they put in there is how much liquor they put in there you, there's no give and take in your drinks that way. Here, I can decide what type of liquor. So I decide if I want to go low end, if I want to go high end um, on my liquors that I put into the machine. One, two, it also gives you the chance to decide how strong you want your drinks. So you could actually go from mocktail, which bet not nobody use, and part. Uh, Cause he for liquor. I'm not wasting my pods on you. You want a, a, a Shirley Temple. You better go make one out the fridge. 
Okay, so let's get that straight. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I'm back. So you can go from very light, a light drink, all the way up to strong. And when I told you str strong is strong, it's strong. Like you gonna be laid out somewhere strong. Okay. So me, though I am a drinker, I typically only do my drinks through bar or regular. I have woken up on the couch way too many days during quarantine to be playing around with Bart and on Strong. So I only drink it on regular now. Um, another reason why I went with Bartesian versus Drinkworks, Drinkworks has a mechanism that will keep that will chill your drink. But then you have to buy the CO2 cartridge to keep your drinks cold. I didn't want to have to pay for the pods and pay for the CO2 containers when I got ice that gets made for free on a daily basis. Like, I ain't got that bougie that I can't have ice in my drinks and it make it go that way. So, I had to break it back down. And that's the reason I went with Bartesian versus Drinkworks. Now, yes, the hefty 350 price tag is a bit much, but it, it's been quarantined. You can't go to the bar. When I drink, mix my drinks, I have to have every single thing on hand. I have to have the mixers. I have to have the liquor. I have to have this and that and then and then and then. And it was getting to be too much. With Bart, all I have to keep is my four, because I'm not even gonna say five because I don't really drink the gin. So I'm gonna have to have my four liquors in stock and some pods. The pods I found, you can order from Amazon, or as I like to call it now, Amazon, or Bartesian themselves. So you have options. It's not like you're limited. Also, the pack of six, the pack of six pods cost you 15 bucks, either from Amazon or if you're getting them from Bartesian. That's $2.50 a drink, people. You can't go to a bar and buy a drink for $2.50. Also, I'm getting the same exact Long Island iced tea every single time I put this pack in here. The only thing different I may get out of a drink is that it's stronger or lighter in liquor volume, not in anything else. It's still the same drink. So it's like going to Starbucks and knowing you're getting that same macchiato every single time you go. That's what I absolutely adore about this system. And for 250, come on people, we spend more than that. Let's see, I've got a drink at the bar for 12, 15 bucks. Like, come on, 250, 15 bucks, one drink at the bar, I bought six drinks. It pays for itself. It's gonna take a while unless you're an alcoholic, but hey, who am I to judge? Live your life, do your thing. So, now that I've told you everything about Bart, are you ready to see him work? Okay. Now I told y'all don't, don't be looking at Bart all sideways either because this is my man. Don't come for my man, okay? All right now. So. You're gonna open the lid, easy peasy. You place the pack in. I like to shake it up just to make sure I'm getting all the good bits out. That ain't changed from drinking lemonade or from making a bar drink. I want all my good bits. Okay, you're gonna close the lid. It has this um, center on the top, which corresponds with where the barcode is here. And it tells the machine what drink you're making and it'll make sure to ask you all the right questions. Have you put in the right drink cup? Actually, it tells you which type of cup to use. It tells you ice. It tells you if you need a shaker. Like it's, it's, it's bomb y'all. Like I love her, I love her. Okay, so you're gonna close the lid. Now it's telling me to place a highball glass with ice under the dispenser which we already got here we're gonna say next it asked me is the rum installed yes it is so i say next because the rum is in the reservoir with gin it wants to make sure you have the right liquors 
in the machine at the right time to make the right drink. Now you can say yes and it'd be the wrong thing because I do that for my um, Uptown on the Rocks, but it's up to you. So now it's asking me what strength I, would I like it on. And I'm gonna tell it I want regular and to mix. And then it reminds me that the capsules are recyclable. Thank you so much because I was so worried about that. And then you can see that it's taking liquor from each of the perspective of, why did you say a perspective? Out of the respective reservoirs to make your drink. And here we are less than 30 seconds later. My drink is complete. Tells me cheers and cheers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, you end up on the flow. You have too many of those, okay? But, and now it's telling me to recycle my pod so the pod comes out empty. And that's it. And I recycle a pod and Bart's are not. So that, my friends, is Bart the Bartesian. I love the machine. Um, if you have one also, please, Comment below, let me know what you think about Bart. What's your favorite drinks? Um, have you tried any that, child, don't, don't, don't do it, don't waste your money. Because they do have a nice big array of drinks. I mean, you got, you got Manhattans, you got um, martinis, um, kamikaze. Uh, I mean, like, it's literally endless. And they come out with more constantly. So if your favorite drink isn't on the list now, it may be in the next two months. You never know. But for now, the drinks I have, oh, I be. Oh, happy day around here. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen on the channel so far, please like, subscribe, comment, all that. Let me know. Let me know you're just here. I don't mind. And we'll be back next with Booze Clues. What up? So, welcome back to Booze Clues. And today we're going to talk about Stella Rosa. Now, I thoroughly enjoy Stella Rosa. I'm a Stella Rosa girl. Sometimes it's a bit too sweet for me. But I am finding that different combinations using Stella Rosa has really been the difference for me. So... One thing in particular is Stella Rosa is not high in alcohol content. So, to get around this issue, I have found different ways to mix the Stella Rosa to make it exactly how I like it for what I want to do with it, which is suck it down as fast as possible and then keep going. Okay, so now that we all on the same page, so one of my favorites to mix is actually the platinum, the and it's actually a French vanilla wine. So it's something I've I, I don't think I've ever seen a French vanilla wine, but I absolutely love it. And I mix that with the French vanilla Ciroc. And when I tell you it's got to be a it's a great one-two punch. It, it gets you there, keeps you there. They're both French vanilla. They mix very well together. It works wonders for me. Also, another one that I um, absolutely adore, Stella Rosa Black. Everybody knows about Stella Rosa Black, that nice dark red wine, little sweet. And I mix that with the Black Raspberry Ciroc. And I mean, what I tell you, you be lit, lit, you be lit, 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 okay? You right there in the middle of it all. Uh, another one, I get the Stella Rosa Moscato. I mix it with some coconut rum and some pineapple juice. And there you go with a ghetto pina colada. Like, like I was trying to tell you guys the last time. Don't think that you have to stick by the rules. Find what works for you blossom on it grow on it I like Stella Rosa wine 
I don't like the alcohol content. So I tried to find ways to get around the alcohol content without killing the taste of the actual wine that I'm trying. You don't want to not taste the wine for trying to get the alcohol content. Hence why I found the French vanilla wine and I mix it with the French vanilla vodka. It, it's all in the same household. It's all going down that same lane. I'm good. So I hope that clue helped you with your booze. <laughs> I'm going to pour me up one of these nice little French vanilla concoctions and I'll see you next time on Lift Your Spirits.